How about you stop being a cheap little freeloader? It's like going to the supermarket and going, can I just open this packet of bread to test it before I buy it? No. <laughs> what time do you go live on the website? Um, normally 9pm, but last night I went live at like 11pm. I do. I'm literally putting it on to have to deal with the haters today. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, no, I don't live in London. I spend a lot of time in London for work, but I don't live there. I would never ever live there. No offence to anyone who lives in London, but <laughs> Matt, you joined. You joined at the moment. I'm slagging London off. Uh, I despise the city. No. I've got sheep dogs who herd sheep as part of their life. So, um, the Instagram camera is making my makeup look terrible at the minute. Instagram, go to the TikTok camera, it looks a bit better. <laughs> oh, great. It's looking very orange on my forehead and very white on my cheeks. I don't know, see, I told you I'm terrible at makeup. Fuck off. Don't tell me what to do with my body, I'll decide. Just because you don't like something about me doesn't mean I have to change it to suit you. Take a look in the mirror and change your flaws before you decide that I have flaws. Mark, where have you been? I was literally lying in bed this morning going, where is Mark? <laughs> Yeah, but what you're saying by I would look good is basically you saying I don't look good now. You see how that comes across? Change this, you would look good because you don't look good at the minute. So I'm saying, fuck off. <laughs> I think I'm damn perfect at the minute. And you know why? Because I'm happy with how I look. No, you're saying I would look good with it, which is inferring I don't look good with what I currently do. Or have. You know? Not you look good the way you are, but... Because you wouldn't need to say I should look good with something else. I think you look best when you're happy. And I'm very happy. So, I look good. Nothing is more attractive than confidence! Unless it's cocky kind of confidence where it's like um, me going, look everyone, I look fantastic so you should all look like me. You sold the business. Fuck. Wait, when did that happen? Oh my god, that was. Was that like a spur of the moment decision? I'm still looking orange. I like that there's two cameras. One that shows where I need to keep dabbing makeup to fix my face. I'm so shocked. Holy moly! No. I am so happy for you. I right. I'm not like blowing my own trumpet, but um, every single time where my friends or people I've gone on dates with have said this is you know what I enjoy doing and this is what I currently do I somehow managed to persuade them to quit their job and do what they love doing instead <laughs> I feel like it's a bad thing because if it doesn't work out oh sorry I made you quit your job but I am so flipping happy for you if you do what you love it, it doesn't matter if like you end up earning less um, because you're doing what you, you're doing what you love, so happiness is key. I mean, from our conversations, you did sound um, very tired. Having to do those flipping 
early mornings at work. I really hope this works out for you. Because what I'd seen you cook looked good. But I know it's about how it tastes. But flipping hell, you've proven you can run a business though. So you can for sure have a restaurant. Oh my god, it's not blending in. It's because I've not prepared my skin properly because I've run out of primer. If I was just not lazy and just got it out my door, my cupboard, it'd be fine. So much for being in a rush. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be good. And <laughs> live actor opening night. It cannot be me, sorry. I, I, I mean, I don't know if you're even asking me. <laughs> <laughs> but in case she was thinking about it, um, I know loads of good people who could sing. <laughs> you want to see the body? We'll go and pay for it. You know what I mean? Like, you don't get your car tested for free. Oh my god, my friend launched her um, OF last night. <laughs> Not there to work. I was like, can I sneak up to the toilets to make some content? Sorry, content. <laughs> you were like, I know where she's gone. <laughs> she's gone going, woo, get picky. She's gone doing that in the toilet. What kind of restaurant are you thinking? I used to date someone who owned a restaurant. I mean, I've dated everyone. I'm like the experienced career coach because I've dated every damn career. <laughs> the only good thing about dating someone who owns a restaurant is the free food. That's the only good thing. Is you can just eat whatever you want. I mean, it wasn't good for me because I put on weight when I dated it. They were flipping good food. The only bad thing about that is when it's like their day off, they don't want to cook at home. And I'm like, please, will you cook me something? Because she's such a good cook and they're like, yeah. British products. Incredible. Um, can I supply you with your fruit? Like your strawberries and stuff? Because I had the farm inspector around yesterday and I passed. Um, sorry, I'm going to sell. Um, my plan was because obviously it's a sanctuary, but I need the farm to be sufficient for itself for after I stop being an internet stag. Uh, I need to figure out a way for the farm to pay for its upkeep. So I was like, well, maybe I'll sell the fruit I grow on the farm to local restaurants. They don't need to buy a lot. They can just, um, I don't know, like strawberries. I mean, I've never grown strawberries. I'm talking like two years ahead, but in two years time, you'll have your restaurant. So it'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know if there'll be anything left with my dogs though. They'll be eating the trees before they're... Manchester! He's stalking me now. <laughs> Take it. That's nice. Manchester's good. There's loads in Manchester though, isn't there? You could always do one more. Um, more out in the sticks. If, if there's like the way I see it, if there's a really fancy restaurant not in a busy city centre, it would always be busy because the locals of that area would always have somewhere to go on like a fancy occasion. Mm -hmm. 
Aussie from America. Amazing. I've been saying amazing a lot lately. It's like I've run out of words. Nice. Come on. Nice just sounds awful though. Oh, nice. What does Lily mean? It's a double barrel, double barrel.